wild salmon and peppers. Uh, two weeks out. True, on the nose. Yeah. 14 days. On the nose. Energy is all time low. When you look forward to eating peppers, you know you're deep in a prep. Off season, you'll never catch me eating vegetables. Is this your favorite meal of the day? Mm, at this point, because I have carbs, only the three meals. Um, breakfast, pre and post workout. Those would be my favorite meals just because they're the most satisfying. But meal five and six is higher in fat than salmon or steak, so they're pretty good too. But I would say right now my most enjoyable meal is probably breakfast oatmeal. I really love oatmeal. What's up? 10.30 p.m. Meal six, we're preparing right now. Um, eight ounces of flank steak, and it'll be about 100 grams of zucchini. Um, so I'll eat this. We'll get to bed at about, probably by about midnight tonight. Depends on the flank steak cut. I'm very particular. Sometimes when it's too lean, I really hate the taste of it because it's really tough. Um, but if you get the right cut with the right grain in it, and the way I cut it, it can get, it fries up like pretty nice in the frying pan. Do a little bit of this on there, right? Like that. A little shake -a What about mine? Then you can see it starting <laughs> to get nice and crispy. Apple cider vinegar. In prep, I'll end up adding apple cider vinegar twice a day because the protein content is so high, carbs are lower, fats are lower. So, you know, the majority of our calories that are going in the system are protein and protein can become very acidic. So apple cider vinegar will create a better environment, better uh, acidity in your stomach to break down those proteins. So a lot of you guys might notice while you're prepping, you might end up getting some heartburn or indigestion. So it's a really good idea to add apple cider vinegar before your meals. Give it a twirl. I don't mind the taste of it. I kind of like the burn when you feel it go down. I know some people like absolutely hate it, but I don't mind it. Really tough right now, but it's been it's been pretty cool. It's cool to see like it's rewarding waking up every morning and sort of like seeing the, the changes. The last two weeks I've been going with a pretty cool method. So like basically on my training days is maybe 150 to 170 grams of carbs, which is very low for me because earlier in the prep I was upwards of 500 grams. Um, and then on my non-training days, which right now is just once a week, which falls on a Sunday, I'll do zero grams of carbs. So what I've been doing is throughout the week, from Wednesday to Sunday are the low training days and then Sunday is no carbs. Wake up Monday morning, assess, and each week I'm like my lowest body weight, the tightest I've been. And then I've been spending two days carving up to see how my body responds to, you know, carving up. So it's kind of like a dry run before the show. So the first week we did it, I did 750 grams of carbs for two days. So 1500 grams over two days. And uh, after the first day, 750 grams, I thought my weight was going to jump like crazy. And I actually lost half a pound. So. The next day, did 750 again, I put on the half pound. So my weight was the same. Um, so that basically told us that it's not enough carbs to fill me up. So we did 900 grams this week and I gained six and a half pounds. So today being Friday, I'm almost below what I was last Sunday. So I'm excited to see um, that's all for tonight, folks. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, what's up, guys? So today is Saturday, 8.30 a.m. We just got up. I'm going to show you guys what I do um, first thing in the morning, my routine for the last oh, 14, 14 weeks. First thing when I get up, um, I'll fill the shaker cup full of water, which is about 750 mils. Right when I get up, I like to make sure we get hydrated. Um, you know, because we were sleeping for eight hours, didn't get any fluids in. So I'll do one scoop of Redmond Relight, which is a really great electrolyte supplement. And then I'll do my 10 grams of Glutamine, two, two scoops. Uh, whenever you guys are buying glutamine, always make sure it's fermented sourced. 
our glutamine is, it's the highest quality. So I can pretty much pound that back, get that in my system before I get on cardio. Um, but alongside with this, I'll also make myself coffee. We got this fancy Jura coffee maker. So we're gonna go for the Rachel special. <laughs> have my own coffee on there. Yeah, you do. Oh, that's one of No, you, you both do. You, that's one. You both do. Everyone but me. What? Everyone but me. My hydration drink every morning too. I'll have four capsules of the liver HD. I'll also have, I got three grams there of L-carnitine. So yeah, so in the morning I'll sit here it usually takes me about 45 minutes after I have all this to get on my cardio because I'll have, I'll sit here, drink this, um, get back to my in my client updates, clients that are competing. Um, so yeah, I'll do that for like 45 minutes, check some emails, make sure I'm, you know, I feel good. I'm awake and then I'll jump on my cardio. All right, so the cardio is in the garage. This is the garage, guys, the mess right now. We're doing some construction. When we did this sort of like construction addition, something that was important for us was we wanted to have um, a little gym area where we can just do like cardio, ab stretching. Um, so this is the garage, and then this is the gym area. So back here, it's not done. There's still the construction, but I've been able to use it all prep. So this is, this is, an, this is an addition. Um, to the house, so into the backyard, so we'll go to the pool. Pool's over here. But yeah, every morning I'm able to do my cardio here. Uh, me and Rachel both have treadmills because <laughs> oftentimes we both want to use a treadmill at the same time. Um, and then even, uh, you know, I do my abs here first thing in the morning with cardio. And then stretching, you know, foam rolling. So yeah, so that's the, that's the gym area here. I'm looking forward to finishing this. We started a renovation of the house here like uh, over a year ago now and uh, still not done, but uh, it's steady, steady progress and I can't wait to finish this and it'll be a really cool area where this opens up and we'll go right up to the pool. I don't even eat my breakfast, so between my hydration drink when I get up in the morning and my cardio, you know, I'll drink another 750 mils while I'm on cardio. So before I've even eaten breakfast, I'm like 1.5 to 2 liters deep already uh, with my fluids. Um, you know, I'm, I'm drinking 6 liters a day, so I like to get the majority of my fluids in before my workout. Breakfast time! Just finished. 50 minutes. Cardio. Ooh. E. Use it. E. Freshy. Go for freshy. Bottom's never as good. All right, so we got our whole legs, and we got the prep shop, Toronto. Anyone that is um, local to Toronto, this is my favorite chicken. Um, they were helping out a couple other HD muscle athletes, and they dropped off some chicken at the gym, and I tried it and fell in love with it. It's unbelievable. Um, so if you guys check them out, if you use Team, HD 10 at checkout, you'll also receive 10% off. But I definitely recommend trying. I mean, I've only had the chicken, it's amazing. So we got our 50 billion strength probiotic. We got five capsules of Vita HD. With, the, with this vitamin, guys, I'm sure you guys have heard me say it before, but it pretty much has everything you guys need. Full spectrum of vitamins and minerals, all the highest quality. It has ubiquinol in it, KSM 6-6 for stress and cortisol management. 
Um, it's absolutely loaded. Spectra, um, grape seed extract. You know, it has a uh, you know, curcumin, turmeric in it. Basically everything I'd recommend to a client or I'd want to take to go buy like 10, 12 different products. We put full dose ingredients into one product if you take five capsules two times a day. So I'll take five capsules with breakfast and then five capsules with meal five. I like to dip my chicken into the yolk. This is my favorite meal. All right, we're gonna do a physique update today. So I gotta shave down the body. I do everything downstairs because it creates a mess. Time to shave the back. Rachel. <laughs> So here we are, meal two. This is my pre-workout meal. Um, I usually have this 70 to 90 minutes before I train. So we're gonna do 60 grams of carbs coming from white rice. This meal is real basic. And I only have carbs with breakfast, pre-workout, and post-workout. And then we're going to use eight ounces of the prep shop chicken. Um, same chicken we used meal one. It's amazing. What's the uh, last text message that you received? Can you read some of them? Noah, do you have the sign guy's number? <laughs> A sign for pure muscle. What else do we got here? Ricky, just updating me. Got Frank asking me a couple questions. Okay. Um, the power squat, I don't think it's a very popular one. They're trying to call me. Basically, I try and get all my work in like before my workout, so I have the two meals before I train. And I'll try and do a lot in the morning because after my workout, I'm just absolutely exhausted and my brain just doesn't function. I figured uh, I have a little bit of energy right now before I'm going to the gym to work out. So I didn't. Yeah, I think with the Atlantis stuff there, I think just like sticking with key items that are like very popular that we know people are gonna want for models. Okay, um, the power squat, I don't think it's a very popular one. All right, so we're gonna get ready to leave for the gym now. Training arms today, like every Saturday. Pretty workout, I usually bounce back and forth between the Ultra and the Elite. Feeling a little bit tired, so I'm gonna go with the Ultra. All right, to the gym we go. I actually just got uh, the G63 about two weeks ago because Mercedes-Benz released uh, some of you guys that are car fans probably already know the G63 sell way over list the opportunity a friend of mine just got his order and uh, he was looking to get out of it so I took it over I thought it was a really safe purchase right now given the fact that they're in demand selling over list and I think they're just gonna go up because they're not building them that's the Audi RS Q8 it's an awesome car. So we're gonna get going to the gym. Stronger than the crew. Nah, we do what we gotta do. Method is methodical. Whole squad bulletproof. He'll never get a shot at you. On the rise, and we started at the bottom too. But we ain't never gonna stop till we got a view. Ain't nothing that we can't do. Yeah, you can't be in our circle if you're looking for an angle. Even if it's painful, let it motivate you. Everything that we manifested, it became true. And we don't know the meaning to quit. And we ain't stopping till the whole world fiending for this. Nah, no frost, everything is legit On the podium, raising our fists Brrr, Rise up, rise up We gon' 
don't make it out, gotta rise up, rise up, rise up, tick, 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 tick time's up, rise up, rise up, stay ready so that nothing can surprise us, rise up, rise up, rise up. tick, 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 tick time's up. Yeah. I know what I believe that I can't achieve I work when I dream, I'll never sleep About vibes, yeah, you gotta match my energy I know, if I build a better team, I build a better me Rise up, yeah, rise up Tears I cry, my sweat, my blood Putting in the time until my time comes I'ma be defined by the things I've done, yeah Voice raised to the cover my face Cause you know they silence you when you got something to say huh. And I never buckle under the weight Stay focused in my tunnel vision, numb in the pain, yeah Never letting up till we level up. Earth this, spend my whole life setting up. When it chips down, better not. Nine down, nine times, ten times, getting up. tumbles down the stairs in his old age. Yeah. So, time for post-workout. Um, so this meal, I'll be doing 60 grams of carbs from cream of wheat, because I was doing cream of rice before, but it seems globally, uh, cream of rice doesn't exist anymore. Up shop. Thank God for the prep shop. Very prep. Just so convenient having your food cooked. Especially when it tastes good. It's cooked, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little more water just to create a little more volume. That's it. I'm serious. Yeah. I don't think you guys will be here later on to see me make my shake, but you know what? Maybe I'll even just make one. Just to show you guys what you can make with Pro HD and just avocado and ice cubes. As I've seen my videos before from cooking, you know that with my cream of wheat, cream of rice, oatmeal, I put it on a plate um, because it cools down a lot quicker. And I actually like it when it spreads out. I have 10 grams of glutamine. I usually have it like 10 minutes before this meal. I'm supposed to have it before I start cooking. So, 10 minutes prior, 10 grams of glutamine. So it's definitely different this time around because, you know, even towards the end of when I was bodybuilding before, I started doing like better for myself. My coaching business was doing really well. I wasn't coaching a lot of pros at that time, but I had a lot of amateurs. And, you know, financially I was doing well. And at that time I was kind of questioning myself, like, do I love bodybuilding? Am I doing it because I want to like build my businesses and get my name out there? Now having, building these businesses and being successful, I think it just like confirmed to me, like me and Mariah were talking and I was like, man, you know what? It never even crossed my mind. Like, the, like, I don't want to work as hard because I don't need to or I'm financially stable. It's like I put everything into this prep for the time I had. I had, you know, 16 weeks. And for me, it didn't affect me. It didn't, it didn't make me less hungry. You know, some guys, I think when they reach the top or they reach success, whatever that looks like to them, whether it's financially or whatever, I feel like they lose that, that eye of the tiger. But for me, I think when it comes to stuff that I love, you know, I think I put everything into it. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, and I mean, even when I quit bodybuilding, right? I still live the lifestyle. You know, obviously, I wasn't taking, you know, all the bodybuilding supplements and and uh, everything wasn't at 100%. You know, but I was still living the lifestyle. I was still eating five meals. I was still training every day. You know, so everything was still in place. And that sort of, I think, just confirmed to me that, like, I really do love this lifestyle. I love this sport. So, you know, committing to actually doing the bodybuilding show was more so me putting myself first and having to tell other people no, because I put a lot of time maybe into other people or I help a lot of other people. So, 
it was actually good for me, I think, because it, it put me in a position where I had to put myself first. And I really enjoyed the process. And I learned a lot during this process that I think just is going to make me a better coach. All right, so meal four is coming up. I ran out of flank steak. I had to go to the grocery store. It's been a little bit over two hours to a post-workout meal. And just like six minutes ago, I could tell my blood sugar really dropped. So we'll do a quick test here. Wipe away the first drop. It's gonna be in the threes. I feel that way. So how do you feel? A little shaky, holy shit, 3.3. So, body is burning through food. 3.3 is really low. We gotta get this, this meal in. Step back from the grocery store. I'm stocking up on whatever foods that I need in my prep um, constantly because I never know with everything going on around the world if they're gonna run out of food. The last, the last thing I wanna do is be a couple days out from the show and not have the foods I've been eating for the last six weeks. So this is how this is how I make my flank steak, guys. So you see the grains going this way. So I'll cut off my eight ounces. So I'll just guesstimate right now. So cut it that way with the grain. Cut strips, a couple strips here, All right? So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut against the grain. And these little pieces and they fry up really nice in the frying pan. I'll show you guys. Let's see the fat. Okay. Heat in our pan. Do 150 grams of peppers. I do kidney HD. So kidney HD all prep. I just do it one time one time a day. And uh, post-show, I ramp it up to three times a day to recover. But actually, the week of the show, I will also ramp it up to three times a day. Is this the usual time you eat? A little later? Supposed to be at 8. What time is it? 8.30. Well, it's supposed to be 7.30, but we're behind at 8.30 as we're filming. Okay. So, hour behind, so meal 6 will be at 8.30, 10.30, and 12.30. Do you have a favorite peppers color? Mm. All of them but green. <laughs> oh. Brand one that's hit like super low blood sugar like that knows how extra good food tastes. He is kicking back. He is scrolling. Meal five, 10.30. Nice piece of salmon. It's a thick piece here, so I'll uh, belay it just so it cooks a little quicker. And I think you guys have probably seen my salmon video before. Just kind of funny because yesterday I was at Fortino's buying this salmon, and uh, there was this little kid there. And I thought he was looking at the car. He kind of nudged his dad. And then as I was coming back to my car, the dad was like, hey, Dorian. I was like, hey, what's up? And he was like, uh, you know, we just picked up some salmon. We were watching your salmon video. We're going to give it a try. So it was pretty cool that I was in my local grocery store and people are watching the YouTube. The sweet heat sprinkled on there. So, tonight we're watching Amazon Prime, A Quiet Place Part 2. Alright guys, so it's 12.30, it's an hour past when I normally eat, usually I'm in bed um, by 12.30. So I'm going to show you guys my meal 6, which consists of Waffle Pro HD, salt, avocado, ice cubes, and just a little bit of water. If you have a good blender like the Vita Mix, um, 
so. Got half an avocado. We got two scoops Pro HD. And if you guys want to add like Splenda to it or Stevia to it, sometimes I'll add a little extra Stevia. Um, we're going for nutrition, you know, nutritional value here being on a diet. So it's just protein, it's fats, and we got some fiber in there for the avocado too. So we're going to whip this up, try and turn it into an ice cream. As you guys can see the texture, I could have even made it a little thicker, but this is nice consistency. You know, it tastes like a treat when just you're Just water. Yeah. But yeah, so that's my... Uh, bedtime shake right now hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions comments anything please comment down below let us know if you like this style of video a lot of people were asking for sort of like meal prep and day in the life type stuff so hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, i'll be updating you guys next week when i'll be one week out